And if it hasn't been tried yet, try a UBI. Let's try it. Dude, seriously? I am going to take you to task over this. UBI for people who are homeless has been studied multiple times with the results being quite consistent and quite positive. With something that an individual with business background <coughs> might understand is an opportunity cost. Every study, savings were made over the cost of just dealing with people who are homeless. And the adjacent problem of homelessness has also been heavily studied. It was first trialed in New York City, which was successful. It went on to be trialed in Europe, which was also successful and is now, in fact, the policy of Finland. And remarkably, they've managed to solve their homelessness problem quite nicely. So what happened? How is Finland so effectively reducing homelessness? In 2007, the Finnish government started a national housing first program. The effects, both economic and social, are clear. Even in backwards countries like Canada. Just to be able to shovel your walk, you know? What does it do to have a place? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. Like, you can lock your door, you can keep your belongings, you know, you don't have to carry them on you. You know, you can... Uh, you know, you can, you can cook, you know, you can, that's the biggest thing, like. When he was on the street, the one thing Ezra took care of the most was his dog. You know, different people have different things. You know, you carry, like, what you have, and, well, I had Muppet. What does she mean to you? Everything. You think you would have made it through without her? No, I probably would have fell, uh, uh, to be honest with you, I probably would have fell deep into addiction. But yeah, she kept me going. I do want to point out that you can think of, um, oh, I don't know, Social Security as a form of UBI, for the elderly at least. And uh, the benefits of that have never quite been in dispute, well, unless you're a conservative. You can even go to very Republican Alaska, which does have a UBI funded from oil revenues, which provides a cautionary tale because the nature of funding does matter. Let's try a job here. Down in the States. And yes, um, a universal work program was made available in the U.S. at one point. The wiki has information about the positives and some of the criticisms of it, which is worth reading through. But I will point out that there are many, many, many buildings, public works that are still in service in the U.S., despite all the criticism about shoddy work and whatnot. Um, it may be that the Stuff that wasn't well built is long been torn down, but it's also remarkable to note how much has withstood the test of time quite nicely. Thank you. With all teasing and hazing aside, I do want to make a few points here. I think overall we can say that the conservative argument that has been dominant for over 50 years, if not longer, has been delivered a reality check. Generosity of spirit, um, compassion is borne out. Most of the religions of the world uh, advocate for it. And maybe, just maybe, that outlook is not soft liberalism, but a reality. To press this point a little further, I think the very, very traditional viewpoint of there but for the grace of God go I has been borne out. And the moral stance that the beatings should continue until morale or morality improves has been proven to be bankrupting both socially and economically. 
maybe greed isn't good. And in fact, maybe greed and avarice are a mortal sin. And perhaps sharing and community and loving thy neighbor, all that soppy stuff straight out of the Bible, is um, enriching in more ways than one. 